EU leaders are facing the harsh response of the European Parliament to their recovery fund deal agreed this week, with Dutch MEP Dirk Jan Epink now calling for a referendum in his country to thwart the Brussels decision. Addressing colleagues in the European Parliament, Dirk Jan Epink said Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte had thrown in the towel during the controversial European Council budget summit last weekend. The Dutch MEP accused his Prime Minister of failing to negotiate the best interests of people in the Netherlands because he did not have the UK on his side this time around. He called for a referendum in the Netherlands on the EU budget as he claims the agreement will cut Dutch pensions to beef up those of other European member states. He blasted, the end of the council was that Mark Rutte threw in the towel. What is the result as we ended up in trouble without the UK, we're going to have European debts which Mr Rutte was always against. He talked about emergency breaks procedures but that is a farce. They're ISNT a plug that you can pull. So in the end the Netherlands is just throwing in the towel. The Dutch pensions are going to be cut back and that's very bitter for people and people won't understand that. Therefore I would call for a referendum in the Netherlands on this redistribution plan where we're cutting Dutch pensions in order to beef up pensions in other countries. Let people vote. Addressing the European Parliament on Thursday, European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen said she was aware the MFF agreed by the Council would be a pill difficult to swallow as she called on MEPs to avoid wasting time on their ratification of the deal agreed earlier this week. Leader of the Euroopan People's Party Manfred Weber also blasted the agreement and warned the final deal will look very different from the original proposal set out by Mrs. von der Leyen. He said, I am happy about the agreement. No doubt about that, but I am not happy about the deal. We welcome the outcome of the council meeting but we are living in a parliamentary democracy and that means that the outcome is now arriving in the European Parliament and the rule of all of Europe is that there will be never the same output after a parliamentarian consolation than the input was from the council side. This means not to delay things, because I hear these arguments now around the corridors.